Hello and welcome to ET Garage. Today I'm going to see if I can neural a hypertectic piston. Okay, like I said, today I'm going to neural a hypertectic piston. I've never neuraled a piston before. If you don't know what that is, neuraling is where you take a tool like this and you mount the uh, object in the lathe and you spin it in the lathe while pressing this tool, this knurling tool, up against it and it makes that knurl like it's knurl that's in this handle. And in the old days they used to knurl pistons and when you knurl it, it kind of like squeezes it, it just it kind of like squeezes the metal out as you're pressing into it, the metal has to go somewhere, so it kind of like comes out and it will increase the diameter of your piston very little bit. And in the old days, they used to do that, uh, you know, back in the days like Model T Fords and stuff where uh, engines had to get rebuilt frequently. They wanted to save money and to, uh, it was the best way to do it. The, the, the pistons weren't as available as they probably were now. Uh, this here is a hypertectic piston, and uh, this is out of my 383 that I refreshed some, uh, last year, and I've been using it to experiment on. You can see where I made some goofs here machining, and uh, today I'm going to mount it in the lathe and knurl it. Now, if you look at the piston, you can still see the mark there. That mark is where you measure your piston, and the reason you measure it there is this is barrel shaped. In other words, you can't tell by looking at this picture, but pistons are barrel shaped. And they're also not machined round. They're sort of like offset round, or like this area here and here. It will be narrow, narrower. And uh, let me turn the piston around. And you can see here where this coating didn't wear off because it never made contact with the cylinder wall because of the way the pistons expand due to the design of where the pin area is and all sorts of stuff like that and uh it actually looks like it was rubbing more here higher up on this side so it was probably rocking but it doesn't really matter this uh, came out of a engine that was worn and uh i'm gonna measure it and knurl it and from what i read is you just lightly knurl it my biggest fear is you do have to put a lot of pressure, even though this is aluminum and hypertectic's really hard, and you do have to put a lot of pressure on that skirt. Hypertector is also, if like you take a hammer to it, it'll shatter like glass, because it's high silicone in there. Basically, silicone is just like sand, and or glass, and uh, it basically makes it uh, harder and uh, more wear resistant, and there's less expansion and uh, you can run tighter cylinder wall clearances but uh, i'm not going to get into that um got a measurement on it first off and like i said you got to measure right at those spots okay don't need to be accurate since i'm not putting it in a motor but just enough to see where i'm at okay this is Four inch, two, 28 and half thousands. I'll leave the dec decimals up here on the screen somewhere. But uh, kind of stick it up in the lathe, stick the tool in, knurl it, and then we'll see what happens. Okay, hopefully you can see I got the uh, neural set up and centered. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and oil it up and uh, get this lathe spinning and see how it goes. I could probably just spin this by hand and press against it and do it that way if I really want it to. But we'll turn the machine on. What the hell? Let me oil this up. Okay, 
I'm going to take the piston off and then we'll uh, measure it and see if it made any difference. Okay. Here you can see the neural both sides and even though it's a real light neural you can if you brush your finger across it it catches it you can definitely feel it with your finger uh, let's get a measurement okay it's about uh, one and a half thousandths uh, more so it did add to it one and a half thousand you could say 0.75 thousand. I don't know, uh, put that in numerically, but about that added about half a thousand steps per side. It's, that's the way you have to look at it. Now, uh, people say that this neural, uh, the old old timers say that this neural actually helps hold oil, and if done properly, will last a long time. I don't know how long that would last. Um, I would think that neural would wear off quickly, but I might be wrong. Um, anyone ever have any experience with that? Leave a comment down in the uh, comment section. But uh, here's the question: Would you neural a piston if you had to? I mean, if you're just putting together a real cheap motor and you have access to a lathe and a knurling tool, why not? So. What's your opinion on this? Leave it down in the comment section, your opinion. Would you neural it? I mean, if you had like a, uh, an old farm truck and uh, you just wanted to get the, had like a small block Chevy or a straight six in it or whatever, and you just wanted to keep it running and just run a home through it, throw a set of rings in it, and you had already had to lay the knurling machine, you could just neural it and uh, maybe get a little bit more life out of it. Uh, for hardly any expense other than the gaskets and the uh, piston rings. Uh, would you do it like on a high performance engine like my 383 Stroker? Uh, or a modern engine? I mean, most people cringe when they hear about people knurling pistons, but in the old day that's what they did. Of course, uh, back in the old days, motors didn't last very long either. They got built on a regular basis. And it was a lot cheaper. But, uh, you know, it's not a bad alternative, I guess, if you had to. I, I wouldn't mind. I wish I had a motor I could try that on just to see how well it worked. But, uh, you know, maybe I'll get one in the future. I don't know. But this motor does, I might take it out in the future. Uh, if anyone's not familiar, when I refreshed it, the machinist uh, went a little bit too big on the bore and hone. And uh, I've been running it like that, but with a ring seal problem. And I... They do nowadays have that modern coating you can put on the pistons that takes that takes up the clearance. So I could just run a home through it, have that coating put on. It's like a three-month turnaround time, I heard. And I have no experience with that coating. So that's an alternative to knurling. And what and you know, how how much better does that coating last than say knurling? I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments section. Meantime, uh, everybody have a great day and God bless.